Alright, we are back for the third video in this, and the goal of this video is to go ahead and remove the uh, LCD or the AMOLED out of the uh, frame housing here. Uh, this can be a little bit tricky, uh, but what we're going to use is a couple of playing cards, we're going to use an infrared thermometer, and of course our heat gun that we have here. Uh, what we're going to do is basically heat the back of the uh, phone up to 180 degrees. Uh, we definitely don't want to use it on the front, only use it on the back of the phone. We don't want to damage the LCD at all. Um, so we're going to go ahead and just heat up the back of this phone. Like I was saying, up to about 180 degrees. We don't want to get the, uh, the, it up to a little bit too much higher than that um, as it can uh, start to get a little bit warmer or actually hurt the LCD if you get too high. Um, so you want to be a little bit careful as you're heating the display. If you want to get it fairly even, you may see some places that are a little bit warmer than the others. You want to try to get it as even as possible. Right there, you can see that uh, bumped to 202 just in that one particular spot for a couple of seconds, but not a big deal. As we're putting on the, the back side of the screen, we definitely don't want to have it uh, too hot for too long. We're going to insert our playing card uh, just right underneath the LCD. We're going to put the corner in and slide it back and forth. I find it easy that if I use a uh, side portion of the card and put it uh, in with a little bit of uh, force. You don't want to shove it underneath. And once the card actually bends, uh, it almost becomes unusable at that point because you need the nice straight surface to get the, uh, the indentation underneath the LCD. Now it does take a little bit of time uh, to get this started, so have some patience as you go through this. It's kind of moving it back and forth to uh, loosen the adhesive that holds this LCD down. Now, technically you don't have to use this method to remove the LCD. If you're trying to just replace the glass, then um, you can technically put the optical clear adhesive with it in the frame. I don't like to do that because I get adhesive everywhere in the phone. Um, I don't know if it's just because I'm not so great at it or if... Uh, uh, it just I'm a perfectionist, but I like to take the LCD out that way I can make sure it's nice, clean, uh, and everything's going to function properly when we are finished. Also, to change the housing, the bezel on this, we're going to have to actually take it out. Uh, so we saw that it uh, wasn't making a lot of progress, and our heat had fallen, so we just put a little bit more heat onto it, taking a brand new playing card. We're going to start uh, trying to remove it uh, again. So trying to use a, a flatter side, not just the point, and sliding it back and forth. And it seems like whenever it bends, like I was saying, that that's kind of the end of that particular playing card. So just moving it back and forth as we go. And you'll feel it start to actually make a little bit of progress. It won't seem like you're making a ton, but all of a sudden you'll kind of feel it slip underneath. And that is when you know that uh, you've made the progress that you're looking for. Now I get tired of using so many playing cards, and so I'm going to cut this one. Uh, into a little bit of an arrowhead and try to get a little bit flatter pointy surface uh, and slide it back and forth. It seems like usually after I start with a couple this is a good method to use uh, as I start to get a little bit more uh, play within the adhesive. You can see that it's starting to seem like it's starting to slide underneath a little bit for me. I'm just pushing it down so it's nice and flat. I'm going to use uh, this corner and see if we can't make a little bit more progress here. I'm just going to cut it again. That way I don't use a thousand playing cards. I'm also going to heat the uh, back of the phone up again, make sure that it's nice and warm, that adhesive is nice and pliable. Now I'm focusing on the bottom portion a lot because that's where I'm going to start the removal bit, but I always start moving it around. I want to make sure it's nice and even. It'll heat up a lot faster after you've done the initial uh, warming on the back. Here's our playing cards moving it back and forth again. There we go. You can see that we got that card to slide in for us. We're just going to be nice and careful around the corners uh, and take it nice and slow as we slide the card around. And we're going to just kind of slide it up and down. Now you want to be 
careful around the uh, display connector on the side of this phone. We'll just insert another card so we can start uh, moving it down on both sides. You'll feel the adhesive kind of start to get really tacky again. It'll be hard to move the cards. And that is your cue to go ahead and uh, heat it up a little bit more. Uh, make sure we get the adhesive pliable again. Now at this point, I definitely want to make sure it's spread out nice and even. So again, trying to slide the card down. You can use a little bit of a sawing motion and that'll make the card slide faster. Now don't be too forceful at this part. This is probably the most delicate part of the entire uh, repair process. And really the goal is, is to save the LCD and replace the glass. Uh, so you want to make sure that you take your time here. Probably should have got a new car to do this side. So I'm just going to use a little bit of the sawing motion. Let's go ahead and slide this one around. And just try to get it right in the middle. Make sure the whole assembly uh, has all the glue remover. So you start uh, kind of pulling it up a little bit. And I'm just trying to stick it right, right in the middle and get that separation. We're going to stop just a little bit short of the. Uh, screen connector and you'll pop right out for you. So you can see that the adhesive was in a U shape on this phone. But it seems like there's adhesive all across the back as you start kind of pushing it through, it starts to get stuck. Now as always, whenever we uh, go through a step, I always check the LCD, make sure that it's still functioning for us. Uh, There's no point in continuing the repair if I broke this portion of the phone. So again, we'll just go ahead and reconnect the battery and power the device on to make sure that the touch function is still working and the, it does power up. Now the next step within this process is to go ahead and put the uh, LCD within the mold. See that it's definitely turning on for us. Put the LCD in the mold, we'll apply the optical clear adhesive and then we will go ahead and UV cure it. Let's double check that the touch function is working. Now if you want to watch that process just hit the link in the bottom of the screen here that'll take you to uh, the next video within the process. Again, thanks for watching. Hit the like button if you found this uh, to be useful. And I appreciate you guys watching my videos. See you on the next one.